Better serving school districts and your students all across central New York. What needs to be done and how can the state step in to help? Well, Ben Dennis caught up with the local assemblywoman who believes the agreed upon budget, well, it might have a flaw. Assemblywoman Mary Ann Buttonshawn supports a permanent 2% property tax cap, but she finds some issue with it, specifically how it could burden school districts. Any chance to change the tax cap would have to be brought about legislatively. I've talked to many superintendents and superintendents in the, the 119th and have asked about if there is any possibility that those changes could be made, as we had talked in the past, the importance of attempting to have a balance for them also to be able to function. The Democratic newcomer says she does not have plans to introduce legislation to change the tax cap. Rather, she wants to take a look at foundation aid to school districts. We see an increase of about 5%. I'm very happy to see those increases that existed within uh, the school districts that exist within the 119th because that was very important. So foundation is, aid is something that we can control as legislators as we take a look at it. Button John says she received the go-ahead to create a subcommittee in the Assembly's Education Committee to discuss the distribution of foundation aid. So is this because school districts should receive more foundation aid funding because of a permanent property tax cap? I can't say that um, looking at saying more funding as, as your initial question was, should we have more funding next year? I'm not really sure if more funding is always going to solve someone's problem but it's going to look at more of a collaborative effort of how we get to that point of the funding that they need and why they need it. In Utica, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.